Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And boy, do we have some new ones Yay! today, including a world premiere from Reboot Games. Nice. I'm the kittens. Cats, 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 cats. cats, cats. It's party time for kittens already. Cats, Thank cats, you, Gamma Dev. Uh, we're going to be playing Magic Pockets for the Atari Jaguar. Nice. This is an exclusive world premiere uh, from Lauren Stavely from Reboot Games. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be doing an unboxing of Jumping at Shadows, the retail version that we picked Ooh. up at PRGE and giving that a little bit of a hey, play. He got him. Oh. oh, he got him so fast. Okay, let's get to that. <laughs> I have added something to the alerts oh. for you to help us to determine whether these cats are being bad see if anybody can find it in, <laughs> in the uh the uh, bits there the bits um, to that'll uh, alert us to these bad cats doing yes. bad things but uh, let's give some catnip to these cats yeah i got it right here okay gotta need a couple of uh, i i um all my leftover uh Oh, they, they know. They know. They're he like, knows. okay, is it out there yet? Is it out there? There you go. Are you ready? Atari, why are you running out in the hall? <laughs> He's like, this other bad cat just takes it all. Hey. Okay. Yeah, there's an alert now at the bottom for bad cats. Uh, it's right there. Cats. It's cats. The cats are on the loose and they must be stopped. They must be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> So there is the bad cat alert. Anytime you see some shenanigans going down, just trigger it like Dan did, and uh, it'll help us uh, help us know what's going on if we're if we're if we're in the he's already losing it. Oh my goodness! Throws of uh, cat our badness. game cat badness. No, yeah. it's not yours. You got a whole letter right here. <laughs> he says, no, but that's there, Atari's. That's I want Atari's. Atari just lays on it. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like mine sid's pulling mine. tisk 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 <laughs> yes <laughs> hey, seven, hey of seven. seven of seven um <laughs> i want to thank the twitch subscribers who help support the show and keep us going 8-bit poet alan for android atari arms car coder atari 974 atari hd atari dude br poke bruno stegs burst air captain classic chelsea donnie mao charles will and chitla cubanismo dianoid dale andrew darling uh, Dan of C. Dave M. Dr. Mukaz, Eric Card, Cam, Dev, Great Offender, Ground Drew, uh, Trooper, Eraldo Jew, JG, Donny, Johnny W. C. Kabuto, Coder, Carl G. Karakrak, Karakrak, Krak, a 2600, Developed for Lambda Express, Manny Sip, Team Mark, Leanis, Mark Spacing, Metal Lunar, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Talmud, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Nostalgic Pack Rack, Prow 7, Quag, Orando, Rarantruids, Raymond C, RC70, Render Ghost, Repentless VG, uh, Revan Tuli, uh, Ricotta Pim, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Spice Horse, Spinley, S. Ramirez, Thrust, 26, Tiki Dan, K, T, Post Track, MD, Tweeny, Vexrax, Vidage, uh, no, Vitoko, and VVG Double Down. Sometimes I throw names in there. <laughs> Randomly. That, uh, used to be in there, <laughs> but are no longer in there. Um, I can how long be, that. uh, do we need to trigger it while it's still, how long before? Yeah, I think oh, it's on set, cooldown. I think it's set to like two minutes. Oh, it's a short one. Because those cats That's are good. bad. It needs to... Yeah. It needs to be there, yeah. ready for it. Look at oh, these look. guys. <laughs> oh, they're bad. Look they're the... so silly. Arr, 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 arr. Oh, they're crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full, um, full cat crazy right Yeah, now. so we've added the bad cat alert. Nice. Uh, so if you see them, do bad things. Like uh, like go after Bernie? Yes, especially going after Bernie. He's been attacking right that today. Oh, he's so bad. He's very bad. Yes, he is. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> Crazy. Something else. I started the Zero Page Homebrew After Dark channel. Very nice. Posted the first. Ow! F he's bad. Uh, the first video on there, I uh, did an After Dark on Spider's Arcade from Champ Games. Mm -hmm. I wanted to play that a little bit more. Um, yeah, so videos will go there. So if you want to subscribe to that, if you want to keep up with the After Dark stuff, the After Dark is for games that I want to play a little bit more. Yep. Or for uh, score high, competitions, yeah. High score competitions, mm -hmm. or games I want to complete, yeah. Or games I want to get patches for. Nice. Pretty much long plays of games. Yeah. So we'll keep the 
main show on this channel on yeah. the normal YouTube channel. I mean, both are going to be on Twitch. Yeah. But, yeah, it's still the same Twitch channel, so it's all the same Twitch. Yeah, it's yeah. just split onto two YouTube channels. Yeah, yeah. because some people yes. just don't watch the long ones, so I just let's put them all in one, so people That's can fair have them if they want and don't have them if they don't there want. You go. There you go. Um, just subbed. Thank you Yay. so much to the After Dark. Um, yeah, so we still be doing the Tuesdays and Fridays on the main channel. I know it's Wednesday. <laughs> so normally Tuesdays normally and Friday Tuesdays. because we went to a concert last Yay, night. Yay, we did. And that's why we couldn't do it. We went to Sisters of Mercy mm -hmm. um, and Black Audio. Mm -hmm. Sisters of Mercy is a band that's been around since 1980. Mm -hmm. um, gothic rock, industrial rock. Yeah, uh, yeah. They no. sound like the Sisters of Mercy. I don't know how to describe them. They just yeah. sound like themselves. Like, um, yeah. 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 Gothy, gothy, gothy rock. rock. Yeah. His, his voice was pretty weak. Uh, People are commenting, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he's he's old, <laughs> you know. It goes after time. Uh, the music was really good. Oh, the music was really good. Yeah. yeah. So it was, it was, everybody was having a ball. Yes. They haven't played live in North America in 14 years. Oh, really? Okay. That's a long time. So it's a long time. All the Vancouver goths, goths. were there. Young all, and old. All of them. All across the, the demographics. <laughs> yeah, there were young some young ones. There were some old ones. It was lovely. Yes. Oh, uh, it's Thursday for Cyrano. Yes. Yeah. Thursday morning. Um, let's open some mail. Yay, mail! I've got this from Stone Age Gamer. Finally got our voter cards. It is uh, <laughs> yeah, election time in British Columbia. It is, it um, is. Not going to so. talk too much about elections because there's also <laughs> some others going on in other parts of the world. That'll um, uh, bring up other conversations yeah, about no, elections. Yeah, no, no. We're not here we to talk political. <laughs> no pol politics, please. No. You get it. Everybody gets cards. enough of it. <laughs> so I Everywhere. was very happy to see that. Mm. Mm. Uh oh. Troubles? Yeah, it's just not opening there, even though it looks like it's supposed to. No, maybe you have to cut it here. There. Maybe both. I don't think so. Maybe it all falls apart. I'll cut it everywhere there's tape. It's like those cards where something springs out of them, like you open them and it just oh, bing, God. it all know. opens up. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Oh, it's oh I see. It's got that like a way. lid. Very confusing. Okay, so let's see what's in this. Don't want that. Got some more, some packing foam. RC70 glitter cards should be illegal. <laughs> Let's get Mark Rober on that. Uh, yeah. If it's a dress from Mark <laughs> Rober, you don't want to open it. No, 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 no. You're in big trouble. <laughs> yes, especially if you stole it. So I did. Yes, <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Let's open this up. Has there ever been a video game based on running for Prime Minister of Canada? Yeah. Probably not, but if it was, it would probably be made by South Park, so... <laughs> yeah, that's right. And they'd have heads that would... Yeah, yeah flappy anyway. heads. Flappy heads. <laughs> okay, so we've got two items here. Um, one is a Neo Geo memory card. Um, that is for my Ooh. Neo Geo, so it can retain... Oh, it looks expensive. Uh, it's, it was not bad, actually. <laughs> uh, relatively to I just see Neo Geo on anything, and I assume. But, uh, yeah. yeah. So it, you can retain whatever settings, high scores, your save games. Nice. Uh, yeah, so it's it's essential for certain things, so I thought I'd have to, I'd have to get it. And I got this, which will be helpful. It plugs into the Neo Geo. Oh, that's very dark. Um into the joystick port and you can use an SNES controller mm. for it. This is gonna so dark. So dark. Anyway, it's the SNES2 Geo adapter to Neo adapter. Uh, SNES2 Neo adapter. So you can not have to pay the expensive prices for the controllers that they have. It's not that bad for a controller considering how big it is. It's like $80. Mm. Uh, no, it's not an original card. <laughs> I, I don't care about getting an original card. Gamma Dev, sorry, would you vote for me? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry for asking. But uh, um, does it also do fifty-two hundred to SNES same connector? Oh, I really doubt that. SNES on uh, Neo Geo, you have no soul. It'll be for player two. <laughs> I have, I do have a a proper 
Neo Geo controller, so I'll mostly be using the, the first one. But if there's two players, um, I can use a different controller. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, why are we not here? Hmm? Where are we going? Hmm? Hmm. Cat? I blame cats. Camera hot! <laughs> Maybe. Did it say camera hot? Because that would be a thing. <laughs> Is it hot? Does it feel hot? Cat? What are you up to over there? Uh, I don't think it feels hot. No, hmm. It's not hot. Weird. At least they can still hear us. This is an audio-only broadcast. Elgato just died, says Cyrano. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's the Elgato symbol. <laughs> yeah. Let me just reset the Elgato. And wow. hopefully Uno momento, por favor, back. says BVG Double Town. There we go. We're there. back. Good. I assumed it's because of old problems with the same icon. Yeah. You died. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll get a kitten buffer overflow. Yeah. <laughs> what did yeah. you do? What did you what do? What did you do, little oh, kitten? Oh, little baby. He's oh, very sharp. Oh, he's so sweet. He, he is needs, sharp. He needs some cutting. Um, <laughs> some huge, huge, huge news in the world of 7,800. Um, this was just announced yesterday. Um course i have the dark theme so you're gonna have to look at it like this oh <laughs> oops some some people post with um white backgrounds and black well they post with black yeah because they are they have it set to white so black looks good on it but, rather than posting in default which they should be posting in default. oh if you post in default it'll flip with the dark yeah oh. it'll flip with the theme but they post in black Op Opcode Games is excited to announce our first two Atari 7800 releases. Popeye by Daryl Genther and Moon Crest by Bob DeCrescenzo. Nice. Both games come as complete physical cartridge packed, packaged in our signature deluxe box with a striking metallic purple finish and a glossy manual. These versions also include fixes and improvements not available in previous versions. Each game's price is $60 plus shipping. will begin shipping March 2025. If you miss these two fantastic arcade ports the first time around, this is your chance to finally experience two of the best conversions ever made for the 7800. And even if you already own them, this is uh, this is a great opportunity to enhance your collection with our premium edition. Ooh, premium! You, <laughs> you can buy or pre-order Popeye Mooncrest by clicking here. Very nice. Um, so, Ooh, nice, nice box art. Yeah, it's very <clears> nice. <throat> Um, so Eduardo, who runs Opcode, says mm -hmm. it looks a lot better in person. These are metallic purple <gasps> uh, color. So they just look purple he here. Had, he had me at it. Metallic. <laughs> metallic. Yeah. Uh, oh, right here. Since the nice. rendering above doesn't quite capture the full beauty of metallic purple color, I'm also sharing a couple photos from a sample. It's the same sample, just shown from different angles. So let nice. me undo that. So, so just, there just you can the go. Reflection. You can see how it reflects from purple nice. to kind of silver. Yeah. User selected theme should be illegal as a front end developer. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, these were available for a little while, Popeye for like a nanosecond. Mm -hmm. And then unfortunately it had to go away from the Atari Age store. And now they're coming back from Opcode Games. And here they are on his page. They're available for pre order. He's already got a bunch of pre orders already, which is awesome. Th further than this, mm. It's amazing now that there is another outlet for 7800 games, another distributor for that, um, which is great. So now we have it's Champ fantastic. Games for 2600 yes. ports and Opcode Games for 7800 ports. Which is ports. excellent, yeah. Yes. Um, so um, let's see. Not sure what the cartridges look like. Mm -hmm. um, so he hasn't posted that yet, but it's March when they're going to be starting mm -hmm. to ship. So, yeah. Uh, Opcode's box is the nicest homebrew packages on the market. Oh, excellent. So Double Down uh, knows about their packaging. I don't know if I have any Opcode games here because they're mostly concentrated on Coleco hmm. Vision games. In the past, these are their first 7800 games. Um, so I'm uh, really excited about that, uh, being able to have a diversification in the Atari world, which is great. At this rate, we'll have dozens of companies publishing mediocre homebrew no, games no. leading to the homebrew crash of 2029. No. Nostalgic. Why? <laughs> Why would you say that? Why would you bring that up? 
Uh, uh, I don't think it's at risk for that, but uh, no. no. <laughs> I think if they start putting out but mediocre games, they just won't sell. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, we have enough information now and enough people playing the games and showing off the games, like here, yeah. that people will know what the bad games yeah. are and they... Hey, psst, psst, hey, psst. hey, cat! He's licking his lips. No, he was biting. I know, I saw it, and then he licked it. his lips after. Yeah, he You're knows he's bad. Kid. Get out of the boat. <laughs> um, so that's really, really exciting. Uh, limited run games will test that boundary. Oh. Yeah, there's some hardcore limited run games people who uh, just buy everything they put out. Oh yes. For a while, I was buying sure. a lot. Of certain well, some, genres. Some things were worth it because they weren't released in hard copy. And now and they've kind of gone into stuff that is released through other people. And they're just Re releasing, releasing it again for some reason. But much uh, later than other people are releasing it. I, I don't know what their game plan it's is like, now. It's like a second run of a game. Is that the idea? But the other ones are still available. Oh, I don't like, like it's that. It's really weird. Like yeah, They, they offer no added value. Um, so a lot of people are pretty, pretty soured on them now. And well, it, they take quite a while because they are almost all pre-orders. It's, it's, it's like just using their previous clout to sell games that really don't yeah. have a limited value, you know, like, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. how many 7,800 Popeyes were sold on eBay recently for multiple hundreds of dollars? Mm -hmm. That is a good question. Let's just take a look. At Popeye, 7,800. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, that's not going to work. 2,600, 7,800. See if there's any listings whatsoever. Hmm, maybe I should sort it by price. Because <laughs> it's going to be the highest. Hi. Let's see. Hi. Oh, none! Bad Everybody guys. pulled them. Really? They're all gone. Let's go worldwide and let's go by sold. See what's been recently yeah. sold. What? So there was one that what? was sold September 30th for 965 Canadian pesos. Um, Canadian pesos. Another one, an offer was accepted from a listing that was, no, 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 $827. But who knows what happened with those? That, oh. that offer could have been taken back. That could have been for two hundred. Could have been for hundred. But yeah, they. Yeah. And, and this is only a, a snapshot of the past, you know, whatever couple months. What is this about? July. What is this about? The Popeyes. Yeah. Okay, those are the ones released through Atari Age. Through Atari Age. Which have now gone away. Okay. So for a while, they didn't. Nobody could buy any. At all from oh, anywhere. Oh, I see, I see. Except people selling their immediately purchased Popeyes right again because, <laughs> okay. because they're Immediate filthy, resales. filthy, filthy uh, scammers. Yeah. <laughs> well, not scammers, scalpers, sorry. Yeah. Um, or they played it and got bored of it and yeah. went, wow, people are paying crazy money. There's nothing wrong with that. I want to quadruple yeah. my money. Yeah. Not even that, like eight Someone's times. Someone's trying to pay them for it, so... I see one for sixty nine ninety nine and two offers six ninety nine yeah six ninety nine uh, and offers accepted one was six eighty what uh, and one was six hundred but offer accepted no idea of price so this yeah. is just because Atari Age pulled them yes and they're and limited, now they're getting right? released through warning Oakwood. warning yes the tree wow. ball is but loose. Though, but nobody's the listing them anymore and won't be able to tree balls loose kittens uh oh. Yeah, these cats need to be calmed so down. So why won't they be able to, or they just don't? Because now it's sixty dollars. Yes. Okay. That's nobody's that's selling fair. it for seven hundred. But they're not like this is 60. the Atari Age version. It's worth six hundred dollars. Uh, I don't think the homebrew market is that <laughs> crazy. Supports that. Well, yeah. yeah nobody's yeah. gonna do that. I, I understand so. what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I I see what your additional question was. Yes. Yes. RC seventy won't be able to. No, they will be able to, but whether they. Yeah. yeah. Digital Double Down says there could still be a demand for the yes. Atari Age version. Possibly. Yes. It was hey, limited. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> um, a good test of that would be: uh, Were there any Boulder Dash originals sold after the Boulder Dash re-release? Hmm. Um, if there weren't any, then there's no demand. Hmm. That's for sure. Uh, 
While we're on the subject, please don't anybody pay $220 for the jumping at shadows from the scalper on eBay. Oh my God, yeah, don't do that. It's silly, it's coming. Don't bother, don't bother. I mean, it's a good game, but don't It's do not it. that it's not worth it. That's I'm... right, but it's, it's just coming. silly. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. just silly. It's just silly. <laughs> Devil Down Space. Hey, I needed that $220. <laughs> That's right, you're taking money out of Devil Down's pocket. <laughs> okay, who wants the orange? Who would like orange and who would like pink? Who wants pink? All oh. right, there you go. Orange for you. Sid wants pink. Oh, this one's so tough. Okay, let's show the cat. Yeah. Cam. Thank you, Vitoko. The Ready? cats say oh, there thank you. There you go. Meow, meow, meow. They're saying happy. Thank yeah. you. Uh, so, the first game up that we're going to be playing is Magic Pockets. Ooh, that sounds now, fun. Now, this was demoed okay. at the PRGE Atari Age booth. Mm -hmm. um, so, anybody who was there, they were able to check it out and take a look at it and play it for a bit. Um, but beyond that, this is the first uh, glimpse, the first play online at home that anybody can do. Nice. Um, this is a... Uh, four meg game mm -hmm. it was originally released in 1991 uh published by renegade and developed by the bitmap brothers oh. and it was released for the atari st the amiga the acorn archimedes and ms dos and the mega drive as well even though that is not listed on the wikipedia somebody needs to update the wikipedia article mm. um because it is, it is out of date or it's just incomplete um, so there was a song on the original game that is not going to be present here because it was a hit song in Britain. A, it was, uh, a remix of the rap song, Do in the Do by British artist, Betty Boo. Oh my from goodness. From 1990. Wow. Okay. I do remember that song. It's a cheesy song. <laughs> I listened to it the other day. It, I... it works with the game because there's no lyrics. In, in the game version. It's just kind of a hip-hop, very early 90s song. I swear it was on, like, one of the compilation, like, yeah. 91 or... Uh, Best of. Much Music 91 or... Yeah, one of those compilation yeah. this tapes is This is rap, 1990. Then. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. do they call it? What do they call it? Not Big Shiny Tunes. That came oh, later. Oh, yeah, and that's rock music as well. Mm. Nobody knows what you're talking about <laughs> because it's much music. That's true. That's uh, true. If it was MTV, they'd know a little bit yeah. more. So the plot is a boy known as Bitmap Kid has a pair of magic trousers that contain pockets with an infinite amount of storage space. Mm -hmm. Bag of holding. Uh, and therefore he stalls, uh, stores all of his toys in his pockets. Mm -hmm. One day the creatures who live in his pockets ew, uh, decide to keep his toys for themselves oh, and no. play with them. So the bitmap kid must go on a journey to retrieve his toys from the creatures. From his trousers? From, yeah, they, the creatures lived in his pockets. Yes, and they stole and there his... And there was toys in his pockets too, and creatures, oh my god. So they stole his toys, okay. and I guess took off, because they're no longer in his pockets. I was going to say, is he going into <laughs> his pockets and his trousers, or did the creatures take them out? He's miniaturizing himself. Uh, that's what I was going to say. It's like, honey, I shrunk the kids. Yeah, don't overthink Don't that. overthink <laughs> No, no. Cyrano, come on. <laughs> games in the 80s were crazy, and they continued on to I the know, 90s. I know, I know. Yeah, Just so true. Insane. And yeah. not until, like, the 2000s did we get... Like, everything's a lot more grounded nowadays like eh. in some reality it's not so far out anymore well maybe it just shifted to like um anime i think you know yeah. like it just yeah i mean i suppose anime can be a lot more realistic too yeah um yeah the concepts became a bit more grounded in reality right yeah so check out uh the craziness that is the dreamcast cover of this game <laughs> wow uh yeah it's it's madness pure madness <laughs> i don't know what's going on in this dreamcast version uh he's like smashing a donkey, a, a donkey kong with a probably is supposed to be donkey kong with he's grabbing him by the nipples what is going on there <laughs> um, and there's a That's snowman what it looks like. and uh, a rock monster these are all creatures in the game yeah but he's got the attitude he's got the 90s oh. attitude with his what? sideways 
No, never mind. What? what happened? Twitch just closed. Well, uh, it's all good here. Yeah. Restart it. Other people aren't saying that, but no. I don't know what happened there. I don't know. People have bad Sorry. connections or something. Yeah, so, yeah, there's a lot of uh, attitude in this game, let's say. Even more so with the original music. Um, but, uh, yeah, you can see the, the 90s hmm. bleeding through there. Uh, so let's, uh, get into the game. <laughs> so this is an exclusive world premiere. Let's start it up. Get these out of the way. Switch over. No, 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 that wasn't a bell. <laughs> Not a real bell. Play. It's a Keep fake playing. bell. You're like, what was that noise? At the top. Does it also feature Poochie from The Simpsons? Yeah. No, Poochie had to go back to his home world. <sighs> okay. Today's date. Uh, the first one. This allows us to skip to world two, three, and four. Ah, uh, if we need to. Okay. Oh, we need to. Okay. This is a blisteringly hard game. Caffeine NTD. I am cracking open the bourbon. Please proceed. <laughs> Still okay. going after that treat ball, eh? Yeah, lots. How many treats did you put in there? I think one of them Too got many? quite a few. Yeah, that's oh. fine. As long as they share it, which I don't think they are. So don't press any buttons. Let the intro run. Okay. Intro is running. Magic Pockets, the Blitmap Brothers. Names and associated logos are a trademark of the registered trademark. Oh. <laughs> I have to learn to speak faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is where doing the do would be. <laughs> this is not doing the do. <laughs> but hey. Oh, lacing up his sneakers. He's getting ready. His pocket is bulging. Bitmap kid. Oh, he's got the he's got his attitude <laughs> dialed in. He's turned his hat to the side. Magic pockets by the Bitmap Brothers. That's very nice. So, very Gorgeous. Nice wow. Got the sunglasses on. Yeah. Sideways he's got baseball hat. The full late '80s, early '90s attitude going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it repeats you. Let's just make sure. I think it does. Yep. Just repeat. Okay. Press the B button. <gasps> no Velcro instead of laces. Nerd says Nerd. He doesn't have the Nike auto so lacing shoes. So we do have Cyrano J in the chat. Yeah, Cyrano. Yeah, the developer for this game if you want to uh, ask him any questions. So, let me give you a quick rundown mm -hmm. of how to do things. Yes. A is jump. B is Punch. shoot. You throw your various items. The longer you hold it down, the bigger the thing you throw. Okay. Uh, which will damage them harder. You can throw quickly if you just press the button like that, but it doesn't do as much damage. Um, down. Let me get the, get out the controls here. Don't don't go too far just yet. No. So. So you can you can jump to the left and right and straight up as well. So press to the left and jump. There you go. Can and that that's also a move is to tumble into them but you need to be like just one higher so go back up into that step and then jump off 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 I'm trying to i think oh. it's up and to the right there you go up and to the right and the tumbling if you land on a creature will damage them so on the bottom left that's how many um hit points you have so you have four hit points and then you go touch it, and it'll explode into things. Oh. Chocolate bar. And you get those things, and you get points. When the, For the big one. Yeah. 
and there's some flying creatures. So beware. One touch will take away one uh, hit point of your life. So some, some you need multiple hits for. Um, and uh, pressing down. So you kind of capture them. There you go. Run. And then you get points for opening up. It's kind of like bubble bobble in that respect, right? So you saw you tumbled. So if you tumbled into a creature, mm. that will also hurt them. If not, so that's them. just. So press down. So you just have to be jumping from high. Yes, just one up from a normal jump. Press down. Yeah, press down. Yeah. That picks up things. Okay. Or um, pick up or use power up or drop power up as well. Ah! ah I'm oh, trying to move. That's one. Don't, no, no, you're not going to be able to tumble. Yep. Now you can tumble on him because you're one up from him. This wasn't what I was actually trying oh. to do. Oh, okay. You're trying to shoot? Yeah. Oh, don't press jump was, when you're was, trying to I shoot. I was <laughs> hitting the wrong button. <laughs> That's there. not going to help. Okay. Colors are over bright. Oh, no, they're nice. Nice and bright for me. Oh, the complaints are pouring in already. <laughs> okay, let me tell you all about Magic Pockets. Uh, the bitmap kid was pretty much like every other kid on the block until the day when a strange old man gave uh, gave to the kid his pat pair of mystical trousers. That's suspicious. Do not accept mystical, mystical trousers, trousers from old men on the street. Uh, strange old men. These mystical trousers bestowed upon the wearer the po power of the magic pockets. How uh, Now kid kicks and is in the house. Oh my god. Now kid kicks and is in the house. That is pure 90s. Uh, when a kid's got bottomless pockets in which to keep his toys and boys' things, he's so cool it hurts. Isn't he? Uh, he's so cool. But then one day something bad happened. Kid couldn't find his best toys. They had uh, disappeared into the depths of his bottomless pockets. These are instructions from the original game. Uh, they may be updated to 2020 slang. We'll see. We'll see what Cyrano does with the instructions. Uh, kid was not happy, but didn't show up because he was so cool. He's got the tood. He simply put his hand into his pocket and pulled out a black hole, which he threw on the floor. Kid stepped into the black hole and has instantly reappeared inside his own pockets in Pocket Land. He did go inside his own pockets. Run! The tood is on point. Hey, kid, let me show you these magic pants. Whole lot of nope. <laughs> That's what Gamma Dev says. Yep. Uh, what's that arrow that flies out sometimes? Well, the first level is, is very linear, but the arrow points to where your goal is at the end of the level. So that's where you have to go. And the more arrows, the closer you are to the goal. So it's straight up, but obviously you have to go around. Uh, uh, all is not well. The naughty pocket land people have taken a liking to kids' best toys and were playing without them, with playing with them without his say so. Kid was feeling dissed, but in I'm gonna say all the slang like that. Kid was feeling dissed, but in control. So visited the four corners of pocket land and picked up his best toy from each. His bike was in the caves. His boxing gloves were in the jungle. His diving helmet he found in the lake. And his space hopper was being bounced on on the mountain. Double on. I mean, it's supposed to be there. It's just awkward. But Kid wasn't content with getting his best toys back. He wanted to teach the pocket land people a lesson. So he did. Using his pocket power, Kid killed the bad people. Ooh. Not defeated. Killed. Strong language. The bad people along the way and stole the sweet things and their magic items, which he used to his advantage before transporting himself home to catch up on the all-night rave. Wow. I think he's a little bit young to go to a rave. Okay, so uh, that's a television screen. So defeat that guy first and I'll... No, uh, don't die. Oh, you got some health back. Did I? Yeah, you're back to... How did you get health back? Um, you, did you die pick completely? up stuff. No. Oh, okay, good. No. No. I didn't. Did you see me die completely? No. I've been reading that. There we go. Okay, so go to the TV, press down to activate it, and it gives you a ah. 
slightly bigger look at what's going on. I never found it useful when I was doing beta testing for this. Very, very late beta testing. I didn't find any bugs. Well, I found like one. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what the point of the TV is. It, it kind of showed you one level above. Mm. It's m minorly. Yeah, it's Thanos. Thanos is all over the place in here. Candy! Some coins. And you can see it building, like your power building up in the bottom right mm -hmm. when your fist goes to the top. And then you can see what your reward is on the left. Ah, ah now you're in trouble. No. Get out of there. Oh. Just throw it down. Don't, don't dive into there. There you go. Milk gives you extra life. Yeah, oh, I got thank milk. you, ABD. I got, I got oh, milk. That's I what I mean. There yet. Yeah, okay. Milk propaganda. My God. There you go. Uh, you have to um, destroy the hidden bricks. There you go. I would just use a small one. Oh, really? Yeah, it doesn't like power its... Oh, it does power its way through a little bit. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I think it's still faster just throwing tiny ones. So much froggies! They're the same color as the candy. Uh, so, but Kid wasn't <laughs> content with getting his best toys back. He wanted to teach the Pocketland people a lesson. Oh my god. It's vengeful. So he did. Using his pocket power, Kid killed the bad people. Oh, did I do that? Yep. He lived happily ever and coolly ever after. Until the next time. Feels like I'm doing my best um, red letter ah. media impersonation. Uh, enter the four corners of Pocketland. Ah. Run. Oh, uh, that uh, bubble. That uh, gumball machine. Yeah. Um, you can blow bubbles and then float around. But I would definitely kill those guys first. If you can. Just so they're out of the way. Four finger discount. Oh, three finger discount now. Uh, run, 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 run. Avoid. Avoid. Uh, no, run. What am I supposed to do? Go around them. Don't touch them. Oh. That's what you're supposed to do. There's the exit. Up there? Oh, no, that's not the exit. Sorry. I can't no. throw anything. No, you... No, you're... Oh my are, god! You're too cool for that. Oh, the bubble's coming to kill you. Oh, is it? Yeah, you're taking too long in this level. Ugh. It's coming to kill you. What? Oh, maybe not. No, you're fine. Oh, that's a power-up. Bend down to get it. Where? No! <laughs> right there! Oh, there! I didn't see it. I believe that is armor. It's been a while since I did some beta testing on this. Let me read all about that since... We're there. That's not a spiky helmet. Laser helmet? Which one is that? Oh my god. Where'd that cat go? I heard a bad cat somewhere. Face mask! There it is. When Kid puts on this face mask, he cannot be hurt by the pocket land people. The face mask only lasts a minute, though. You will, uh, you will when, you'll see when time is running out. So you might as well just barge in and go for it. That's the exit, I think. Oh, maybe not. No, it's just decoration. It does look, that. that's what the exit looks like. Okay, so that bike, yeah. uh, you get on it and pedal and you power through all the people. How do I get up there? Uh, oh. Um. I'm stuck. No, how do you do it again? You... You bounce on that. You tumble on that. How do you do it again? It took me a while to figure it out in the game. I had to look at tutorials. Let me see if I can... F don't. No. It's your last... Wait till they're gone. Wait till they're gone. Jeez. Whirlwinds. They bounce off the ground and walls and kin uh, kid can spin off the largest one. So if I remember, you you throw something and then you jump off of it. Oh, you tumble onto it. How do That's I what it is. But I don't have to be up high to tumble off of it. <laughs> this game is more confusing than the VHS board game Pile of Bullets. Oh, how do you do it? How I have you to do get it? up high it? though. Don't I? See if I can find. I'm stuck. 
Nah. Cyrano, how do you do it again? I completely forget. Well, the secret, kid stun, pocket powers. Let me let me try. You wanna try? Yeah. You might be able to figure it out. Boy is a quiet riot fan. <laughs> What is that arrow that comes out? Oh, it shows you already, did the already, direction, already, right? Yeah. I already talked about that. Okay. Yeah. One does not simply tumble into whirlwinds. <laughs> VVG, there's a secret 47-digit keypad sequence you have to enter. Oh, that's it, yeah. Don't you have a spring in your pocket, says Vitoko? Uh, you should. Yeah. Oh, Cyrano has left the building. There we there, go. How did you do that? I pressed down on it. That's oh, it down on it. Oh, cute. Goodbye, slimies. We definitely need the bike for this. This is so It's very, cool. very cute. There's the end. <gasps> Yay! Okay. You can keep playing. Oh, I've played right? this a lot. Okay. Yeah. Down is a button. Well, down is down, too. Mm. To go up, press down. <laughs> <laughs> and there's all the things you got during the level. <gasps> Candy! And licorice all sorts, Okay, I'll apparently. play for a little bit here. Two. Oh, oh, oh. Secret. Oh, couldn't you go through that wall? Um, no, not secret. No. Oh, yes. Told you. Ha-ha. Where does this go? Probably death. No. No. Somewhere. Somewhere special. You can also aim your um, aim your stuff that you throw out of your pocket. So if you press up, it goes up. Yeah. If you press down, it goes down. Oh, oh. That, yeah, that's the jump. Yep. Hmm. The UG says in the 90s, wouldn't it have been a lot cooler to be on rollerblades than some lame old bike? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Blades. Let's see if I can throw it up there. Ah. No, you, you can't jump and throw a big one. No? No. No. Oh. Oh, you threw it up. Yeah, maybe I can. Oh, there we go. It worked. There we go. Nice. Get your thing. Woo! Ooh. Do I get five? No. <laughs> Max is out at four. Damn it. I, 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 I didn't hold it. Must have accidentally held it down too long. I got the milk bottle and immediately lost it. Ooh. Teleport. Ooh. Oh. Oh, gasoline. Thank you. I'll have to read about what gasoline does. For your bike. <laughs> Can you read about what gasoline does since I am playing? I have to stop reading instructions. Oh, oh, I have fireballs now. From the gas? Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, 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 no, no. Don't shoot power cords. But it's so tasty, says. Kitten! Stop it! <laughs> oh my goodness! It's naughty. It's so bad. Uh -huh, for your mini bike upgrade, yes. Uh, and I need to know what, know what the spiky helmet does too. Oh, the fire is so good. I just need to throw one. I don't even need to store it up. Oh my gosh, there's so many things. Yeah, it's a lot of things in this game. It's huge! So, Cyrano, what is the uh, game plan for this game? How far along do you estimate it is right now in percentage? And will there be a physical release of it? And I'm guessing it's going to be through Atari Age since they had it in their demo booth. If Al likes the game. All the points. Oh, oh, this is a passive kill for sure. Oh, my fireball ran out. Oh, looks like I'm stuck, but I am not.
So you can see the arrow is playing down to the right, so I'm going to go down to the right. Oh. After I make a passageway through here. Transporter helmet, that's what you just used to go to that other spot. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, what was the spiky helmet? Down to the right. Should I keep going to the right? Or... Spiky helmet. Ouch. Anything living which touches kid while he's wearing this helmet will be dead instantly. Oh, nice. Lasts for one minute. Mm. Oh, is that yeah. the door? Small milk door. bottle collected. Kid is given an extra life. Pop bottle. Collecting a pop... A Can bottle of pop causes this? a shower of sweet things to fall off the screen onto any available space below. Oh, that's not the right one. Sorry, which one? Bottle of pop. Yeah. Um, see the gas? Weird. But you figured that out. You Oh, gasoline. Sorry. When kids picked up this can, it changes his power pocket to fire. Yeah. Instead of different sizes of pocket power, kid now throws out between one and four bouncing balls of fire. Yeah, it was awesome. Mm, each one capable of killing anything anything bad it touches. And the effect lasts for about one minute. Neat. Yeah, it was really, really, really good. So it's still down to the right. Star! What are the stars? There's two stars. Uh, power-ups? That's not a power-up, is it? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, it's straight to the right. Oh my god! Gold Somebody star? Somebody has bicycle. Special item appears. I don't see any other kinds of stars. Yeah, there's definitely a list Silver for star. a gold star and a... Uh, collects, collected effects what happens when a gold star is collected. So you get a special item when you get a gold star. I am out of... How did he get that? Uh, I, I can't get it from him. No? Probably have to sh shoot a big thing at it, maybe? I'm gonna try. Takes a while to come back. Oh, I got it. Okay. I don't have any, I don't have any strength left. You don't? There we go. Okay. Well done. So we're going to go to world two. Is the entire level loaded into memory? And if so, are all the enemies spawned and moving even a while off screen? Mm. Oh, good questions. 2020 started the project. Started. Wow. wow. They announced it in 2022 in the Atari mm. age forums. I know that much. So we've taken a look at level one. Let's take a, take a, look, a brief look at level two. Didn't you just you just started level three there? No, no, world two. Sorry. Oh, world two. Okay. Yeah. So there's four different worlds, worlds. all with different kind of environments. Nice. This is not how the game will come. <laughs> this is just for my testing just purposes. So can, just so we, we can, can see, see it. Yes. Yeah. Without it, it, it takes about an hour, I think, per level. Mm. Per world, sorry. I think that was my average-ish. Of course, I was invulnerable when I was playing, when I was testing. So it would take a little bit longer than that. The only language. Assembler. Assemblers unite! Yeah. <laughs> Or assemble. Mm -hmm. Don't need to unite. 68k and J risk. So world two. Interesting. The forest world, I believe. Mm, sounds it doesn't about describe right. all of them in here. Keep reading. Jungle. The jungle, it says. Jungle, yeah. Ah. Six. Take it. Ah. And I get a popcorn, a cloud, a rock. What is this? Ugh. <laughs> there you go. It's like popcorn, but it floats. Power po pocket power clouds, they bounce off the ground oh. and walls, and kid can spin off the largest one, provided he's on top of it. Right. Oh, fell down. Jumped up. Ah, the Too largest high. cloud also drops a single raindrop, which kills any bad person it touches. Oh, mm. well, that's handy. It kills, it doesn't even just damage. 
fight the gorilla. Oh boy. It's a ruck, boys and girls. The faster kid beats up the gorilla, the bigger the bon point points bonus he gives himself. Okay. Uh, jungle secret magic plants. The single raindrop from the largest cloud is enough to make the magic plants grow. Use the magic plant stem as platforms. Mm, interesting. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Oh, you can walk on them. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, see, I don't listen either. <laughs> I don't listen to you when you talk, so. <laughs> it all makes sense. Now. Yeah. I love the art design in this game. It's beautiful. It's really, it's really, really, nice. really lovely. Yeah. Money. Ooh, thousand. Oh, you got hit. Did I? Oh, damn it. Yeah. Oh, but I got too close to you. Ah. But I didn't get hurt. I still have five. Well, you had the the stars around your head, so. Hmm. Oh, that was a trouble. Mosquitoes. Massive mosquitoes. That's not good. Ugh. Yeah, each direction you press will... Oh, I didn't even go into it. Strong monkeys. Um, will affect where the clouds go this time. Throw a, throw a big cloud, because it'll, it'll... It'll kill something underneath it. Oh, in theory. The drops kill things under, underneath them. Yeah. If it hits them. Hmm. Let's see if I can capture one of them. If one flies underneath it. Uh, any of those drops, mm -hmm. I'm guessing. Uh, you kind of want to be on the getting, other side, I yeah, think. Yeah, scared to go down there. There's so many. But they don't seem to be getting past that, so I will take a risk. Of course, they could change their behavior. Of course. And they seem to be... Maybe not. Oh, maybe they're stuck in their boxes. There we go. 100 points. Ah, walking Audrey's. Oh, the big one doesn't even kill it. <gasps> oh, I don't need nope. it though. Should I not get it? <laughs> get it, get it. It's worth something. There's like three of them there. Careful. Oh, oh, I didn't see it. <laughs> Hit the edge. Seem fairly robust. Trying to jump arteries. over it. Yeah. They are taking lots of hits. Bitmap Brothers art is spur fantastic. Yes. Oh yeah. Art style is so good. It is so good. Oh, oh that was close. It's got me into a corner. Is there one more? Nope. Now which direction? Over to the right. Okay. He does walk a little bit like a T Rex. That's all <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'll say. His hands are in his pockets. Yeah. Tiny little arms. It's got really, it makes him look like he has really big thighs. <laughs> <laughs> like he's been doing, every day has been squat day for him for a while, That's you know? That's right. Yeah. So we'll finish this level off. Is it still down to the right? Uh, it's so difficult to, um, to know when to go down and when to keep going to the right. Oh, God. Oh, nostalgic okay. ass. Are there any additions or enhancements to the original game? Cyrano says it loads faster. Button for jump instead of up. Yes. Cheat if you can find it. So there's some cheats in there, I guess. Mm. I mean, there's um, infinite uh, health cheat. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Ah! Vicious! Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I am gonna die. I gotta hide. Don't come down here. No, 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 no. Ah! Ah! Oh, how did I get all my health back? Did you die? Hmm. 
No, no, it would be game over. Is that funny? Can you jump? Can, no, spin oh, jump I on him? I still have all my health. Oh, it, maybe it does keep more than four. Or because are you, I did are you on up. infinite lives? <laughs> well, I, oh, oh, it's going to make a milk bottle next time I uh, trap somebody. Oh, I forgot that Where you could fall down on the on the characters. Mm. Oh, that makes it a lot easier. Yeah. That's so much easier. When you easier. jump down? Yeah. You well, do, when do you, you have fall to do from anything? a certain height. Yeah, but I no, mean... No, you don't have to do anything. You just have to jump on top of them. See, I, if I fall from there, I don't think it's high enough. Yeah. Cute. Chocolate. It's such an interesting um, way you attack enemies in this game. Like, it's not like there's different yeah. levels of being able to hurt them and you can jump on them. Um, yeah, it's very unique. Now, which direction? Still to the right. Okay. Oh, he's going to fall down. No. <gasps> oh, that was close. I think real? I was tumbling. Oh, they they're are real. sleepy. <gasps> oh, one woke up. That one, uh, I don't need to he was interact with that guy. Well, uh, the guys, uh, the snails, would uh, uh, occasionally go into their shell as well. Yeah. That's really cute. Oh, boxing gloves. That that was on here. You can hit things with it. I think. Oh, yep. Boom. Boom. I think it lasts for a Boom. minute. Boom. Probably. Get them. So Get them all. Ice cream. They're like the British ice creams with the flaky in them. Oh, which have you ever had those? Have you ever hung in out them? on the in in England by the seaside? <laughs> yeah, I have. And and then you get an ice cream cone, and it, they have a little flaky chocolate oh in it. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. There, I know there no. are, there there are some. There's chocolate flakes. British in? people in the audience. Yeah, like a flaky. What is it, Cronetto? BBG? Cronetto? No, it's not. Cornetto. No, no, it's it's just like it's an ice cream you get at the seaside, and they stick a little chocolate flake. Oh, bar. on the top of it. 99s. Thank you, Cyrano. I knew they had a name. Oh, there's the exit. Oh, the bubble's coming for me. It just Can um, you punch it? Oh, maybe. No. Just disables me for a bit. But that would be very bad if there's enemies there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We did it. Now we're just going to give a quick look at um world 3 and 4 and then we're going to be moving on to jumping at shadows mm. which is going to be an after dark game, jumping at shadows. It's so good. So, so very good. Yep. Bitmap Brothers. Who needs Silicon Graphics Workstations? We have an Amiga and Deluxe yeah, Pink. Yeah, go. they're Woo! that good. <laughs> they are that good. Why? Sure, no, we we to... He's using the level skip so the cheats are all on. Oh, okay. Are there cheats? Oh, is that why? You're not dying. Are they on? I swear I had to turn them on when I was doing it before. Um, that's why. Okay. They're automatically on. I guess I could turn them off. But, eh. 99. That more sense. Oh, that 99. brings... I haven't thought about that in a long time. I also remember by the seaside, they used to have these... You'd pay for like... Um, it's like, uh, like a little lottery ticket to win stuffed animals. <laughs> And they you'd would rip you it this? open, and if the number matched, you'd get a f stuffed animal. You'd the win a lake. stuffed animal. Yeah, anyway. You throw ice cubes? It's weird what I remember from my childhood. Nice! So, these are... Lots of ice. Oh, and they get frozen inside. That's more visual. Oh, that's, that's really cool. Really cool. Uh. Boom. Two balls. Clams. Oh, going in here is very bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think you need like the... Yeah, I'm invincible. <laughs> yeah, you are. That's why I wasn't dying as well. Oh, you have to freeze it. Oh. Okay. Well, Can you get, get out? The hell out of here. How do you get out? There you oh, go. Oh, you have to throw one. It, it only lasts for a few seconds, I'm guessing. Or 
Does it last till you touch it or last till it? Oh, it lasts a while. Okay. It does last a while. That's cool. Forever? Maybe till you like do a Break big it? jump on it. Yeah, probably till you. Yeah. Yeah, and now you're. Yeah, dead. so you don't yeah. want to jump onto it and spin. You just want to fall. What are you up to over there? Well, I forgot to get the Jaguar sign out. I forgot to talk about the signs, actually. I know. I was going to say, did anyone notice the beautiful signs in the well, background? Well, <laughs> it technically was on the other After Dark. Okay, so you did, you did introduce not everybody them. was here. Yeah, true. Why? Well, you don't um, need to take them down now. They're all there all the time. What are you doing? What are you he's doing? He's taking not, it down. He's taking the signs It's not a Lynx down. day. Can you get the Jaguar right, one? I will get the Jaguar one. And move this and put it on there, please. Other way around so people can see it. Oh, true, true. So yeah, I put up uh, little stands for all the uh, different... All the signs. Yeah. So let's go to World 4. Excellent. I like that one. He only went for the cat names, lol. <laughs> <laughs> who? Who? Cat names. Who went for cat names? Oh, the it cats It is a nice for... display, yes. Cats. Cats. Cats went for cat names. Yeah. He went for the lynx. Oh, the Atari lynx. Yes. That's what you're talking about. Yes. He is like a little Yeah, lynx. just kind of... I need some lights on them, though. I need to get some little little lights. The the lights light that up. I have are no good? No. They're, they're not, not bright, bright enough? enough. You yeah. couldn't hang them? No? I already tried. They, they like, barely, no. barely illuminate them and definitely don't make them shine. Uh, yeah, I feel like I could play with that. that. We'll see. Because these are so bright. Yeah, they are really bright. It needs to be brighter than those. And then this is bright too. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can see them. They kind of shine a bit. Mm -hmm. Ones, those are hidden behind the, hidden behind the uh, filing cabinet a bit, though. Uh no, they're okay. They show up. Yeah, not they too show bad. Up. Enough. So World Four. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Hi, Atari. Hi, Lynx. Are you the Lynx? He's the Atari Lynx. Oh, the mountain. Oh, oh, cat butt. Hi. 19. Oh, it's snowball time. Oh, it snows. Oh, those look like angry bunnies. They're so mad. They look really... Huh? How did I get hit? Because you didn't... Didn't move fast enough? No. Oh, they don't get... They should have their heads sticking out of the snowball. <laughs> Oh, some hi, hi. abominable snowmen. Hi, hi. Walk into it. Oh, it only lasts for like a couple seconds. Oh, it lands and it oh, stops. Oh, so if it doesn't hit them, like directly, then... Mm -hmm. I got hit. Like if it doesn't it, land them on them directly, it just stuns them. That's the difference. That's why some were only getting stunned, because you have to have a, a direct hit. There. I mean, if it's too small, then mm. it won't work either. This is like Snow Brothers, where you're throwing snowballs. Will it go above? It is, yeah. Oh, oh you can push it! Oh, <gasps> so nice. That is so cool! Oh. Yeah, that's... Well, let me try that again. Put one there. Oh, oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. So if you're on a very long, straight level, yeah. you can make a snowball. No, you can't come up there. Oh, add some retroflective material to them, like the OG lightsabers. <laughs> oh, yeah, you could do that. Yeah. The some stuff th they put on street signs, like... Some of them, they're already a little shiny, some of them, but they, they're not like that reflective, that kind of stuff. So you can see it gets pretty crowded on it's these top higher crowded. levels. Yeah, it gets pretty hectic. You're just getting hit everywhere here. Yeah. You're like, I'm ah, just, you just want to see just what's further ahead. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Ooh. So there's lots of towers, electrical equipment. <laughs> Boom. That's a good way of defeating people. Just to Falling land from on heights. Them. Just land on them. Yeah, there's different characters that throw things. There's ones that fly. The flying ones are brutal. That's a really effective way, actually. You don't have to take any time. Do you want to kill a snowman? <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Should have used that more. Ouch. 
can't do it from there. You have to be up one at least. Mm -hmm. Angry so eagles. You can do it in uh, ones in midair mm -hmm. if you're high enough. <gasps> There's that thing. Thing on the cover of the Dreamcast version. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, those are so funny. Oh, destruction. Can I bounce high? There we go. Well, maybe you have to to get up some of those things. Nice. There's the exit. Well, I, I destroy guess. the bad bunnies. Bad bunnies. Hi, are you a bad bunny? Oh, Atari's a bad bunny. This is a bad bunny. There we go. Yay. First part of level four. Nice. Um, Really fun game. I've played it for hours and hours and hours yeah. and hours. I'm not yeah. very good at it, but <laughs> it, is it is really cool. It's, it's really cute. Uh, really great graphics. It's very creative mm -hmm. in its enemies and its level design and all the things that come out of the pockets and the enemies and stuff. And just the power ups as well. And you get a bike and a bouncy thing. It's just a lot of variety. So here you go. Me? Do not start attacking that little cat. No. Let's go over he there. really wants to. He's like, treats? Anyone? No treats. Treats, please. Okay, so I would like the it treats. Is time for unboxing. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Jumping at shadows. So we're going to bring the cat cam over here. Nice. And if you could. Hold on to the cat cam. Hold on to the cat cam. And the, the bloody camera went out. Which, this one? Oh, oh, that one. Oh, it's getting pulled. That's oh no, one moment. Why. One moment, please. Oh, oh you just know. Oh, poor oh. Atari. Do, do, do. I don't think it's that. I think it's the... Um... Might as well put it on the big cat cam. Look at that face. Look at this Well, I'm getting guy. this back. Hi, <laughs> Hi, Sid. Entertain them with cats. Hi. How are things? <laughs> How are things? Those things are good in cat world. Yeah, are they? There we go. Gee, silly guy. Okay, <laughs> we're going to do an unboxing of Jumping at Shadows that was available at PRGE 2024. Where should I face this? Um, Down? Yeah, let's clear a little bit of room here and we'll unbox it here. Okay. Where'd the... What happened? Went out again. Right. Oh, it's because it's getting pulled. Is it too far? Polygox says, hey, Sid. <laughs> hey, Sid. I'm pulling it too much, I think. I'll be uh, careful. Sorry. I'll be a little bit more careful here. It's not your fault. I will be doing something with that soon, obviously. There is a bad cable somewhere. Yeah, just show the cat. <laughs> That's always a good idea. Okay. So. We are unboxing. I know how to unbox things now. <gasps> you ooh, use ooh. a knife to kind of Dangerous. push it at the same time so you don't bend it so here's the front of it jumping at shadows there you go oh. ow kitten kitten kittens all over you get to see cat, this cat on the be the shining light in the darkness nice and i always like atari age uh releases because it goes all the way around in the flaps mm. everywhere sometimes there's hidden things in the flaps as oh, well oh yeah so let's take a look at what's in the package here. So we get a game cartridge. Jumping at shadows. There it is. Looking good. Mm -hmm. We get a manual. Very nice. Very nice manual. Front, back. Mm, very nice Atari age symbol there. Get the manual, which we'll be reading through as we play. 
Is that the, an okay distance? Yeah, that's a good distance. Yeah. Shows the whole thing. Very the goals, nice. the world, the enemy, enemies, their collective enemy, mm -hmm. and credits. Go, Lauren Stable. Who's that dude? <laughs> there Very we go. Nice. So there's the beautiful manual, and we'll need to back up a little bit on this one. And you get a poster, jumping at shadows poster. Very nice. The ZPH shining off of it. I can. No, it's fine. You sure? Yeah. It's gonna be impossible to get rid of that. It's rainbowy. Yeah, it's like it's it's not actually iridescent. <laughs> it's That's not just iridescent. the uh, zero page homebrew from the background. <laughs> and you get something that says do not open until told. And you will not open it until you're told. I'm and, and then I'm still not opening it. <laughs> I'll have to steam it will open. Not open it. Yeah, let's see what no. it says here. Oh no, it's too thick. Uh. Too thick to tell. So yeah. Oh, that's okay. We can show it. Yeah. This little uh, oh, cute fire symbol on the back. Do not, not open, open until told. Very nice packaging. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, William Thorpe, I believe, is the. Uh, oh, you're gonna show the cats again? Oh, no, no, yeah. I was just gonna put it, put them on the side. Okay. There's, there's a. There's Atari there's in the an Atari hallway. In the hallway, that's where he stands. He just stays out of the way of Sid. <laughs> there's, there's the Tron poster. Yeah. There, where's uh, the Tron so poster? animation design: yeah, Andrew Lex, poster. music: Rold Strauss. Tile set: Sazdi Art. Additional art: William Thorpe. Story: a Lawrence Stavely. Loading animations: Sian Drazen. Manual and box art: William Thorpe. And there I am. All the play testers for quality control. And there's Sid <laughs> chewing on some plastic. Oh, Sid. Sid, you are a silly cat. Don't do that, please. Don't do that. Okay, oh, let me take that back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I could just follow these cats around all day. Yeah. Cat <laughs> the cats are on the loose and they cats must be stopped. <laughs> That's a definite good use. He is chewing on something. Yep. ABD, that <sighs> is correct. Yeah, he is a bad cat. Are you a bad cat? He went right back to it, too. Come on. Come on. Come on. Silly. Oh, my box copy from PRG doesn't have that envelope thingy. Oh, well, mine is missing the, uh, mine is missing the CD, so. Oh, there you <laughs> We're both missing something. Oh, no. Um, I think this is for it. Is this for the game? <laughs> Yeah. Cyrano, is this is this the right no, thing? Because I, I packaged so. all my own stuff, so it might be for a different game. No, no, no. It's got the. Um, I think that's ours. I know it's it's having trouble because of cats. Uh, yeah. Contact Albert. Cats. Yeah, don't talk to Cyrano. Yeah. Yeah, that's part of the game. Good. Yeah, and I'm missing the um um the audio CD. Yeah. Um, but I'll I'll get that for mm -hmm. Atari Age Day, um, to show it off at that point. Okay. So let's get into the game. Cats, stop it. Mm. <laughs> Maybe your copy says demo <laughs> too. Uh, not this game. <laughs> oh. Cyrano. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Yeah. <sighs> now, Ivory Tower Collection has played this uh, quite a bit, so. Beautiful intro. Amazing old school type uh, black and white mm -hmm. graphic there. So nice. The last time we played this, somebody said, oh, change the sounds. Oh, to listen to something different from, More, from the jukebox? Like, no, like the music. So like set the music lower. Oh. Okay, okay we're going to put the music mid and the sound effects max. Okay. Um, I 
it's it works fine and then it just the power cable shifts. is loose that's all I mean, but it it'll work fine and then all of a sudden it just keeps failing it's really bad that's clearly a cat problem see Uber. look at this i can't get it to stay on yeah one game is too bright one game is too dark yeah what can you do should i turn it down for this game i have to turn it up for the another game down a little bit for you. Let's get into it. Prologue, Escape from Prison. Third game will be just... <laughs> That's right. It's gotta be here. It's at the, um, it's at the level where the I plug know. is. It's I very know. loose. I don't know what's, yeah. It's been replaced at least once. It's not, it, it, it'll like work for an hour. Mm -hmm. And now I can't get it. I can't get Oops. it to stay on. Just, just leave it. It won't stay on at all. Just leave it. Or you can put another one on the top. Oh, that is oh you just take it. Okay, that's good. This part is actually pretty brutal because it's so hard to uh, see. So hard to see. And it's, and it's not like this for most of the game. <laughs> it throws you right into the thick of things. Does it? There's no tutorial? No, 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 there is, but I've, oh, we've played ahead. this on the show. Oh, before. okay. I'm like, I thought it started a lot slower. <laughs> is, is this from a save? No, this is from the beginning because it's a cartridge. It's brand new. Oh, okay. There's no... So it's not a tutorial. That started at the tutorial. Yeah, those two creatures at the beginning, yeah. and that guy also yeah. say things to you, but I did not talk to them. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. Because I don't want to talk to them. Such a misanthrope. <laughs> yeah, they're just... So in this one, see in the top left, you uh, want to get all the power-ups. Mm. So, uh, do you want to play and I will read? Or do you want it's to read while. and I will play? No, I'll play. Okay. I, I have to... Practice. Practice your double jumps. Jump, jump, and also practice your dash. How do I dash again? Oh, shoot that guy. Shoot, shoot, shoot. There you go. There you go. Now you can dash? practice. A is to dash. Those are very... Double jumps and dashes are the whole game. Okay. Oh. No. Oh, yeah, you have to be right above it. Yeah, yeah you're right. Below. I forgot about that. Prologue. Keeping to the shadows, remaining out of sight. It was the only way to survive in the new world created by the Overlord. Oppression. Just make sure this is the right level. Uh, oppression and corruption were rife. Life was a constant struggle. Moth did what he could to get by and also always helped others when he could. You're Moth. So you want to get that thing down there? Okay, see so after in the top left, you have to get five or more. There are bonus ones. It is always good to get the bonus ones. Because you'll need them later. Moth, uh, little did he know he was destined for something bigger. A note slipped under this door in the dead of night. The sound of hover propulsion drifting away. I've seen you around. This is a note. I've seen you around, always wanting better things and helping those in need. Now I need your help. Laura, L dot A dot, etc., was taken away, taken and locked away for nothing more than shining a light for a child to re read in the darkness. Oh. Please help get her back. Ernie, E dot R dot, etc. Uh, a meeting was arranged. Plans were made. Oh, don't stand too close to dropping that. Uh, how do it's I drop three. it again? Three. To drop by explosives. I didn't hit three. Oh. Is there another way to do it? Is Mm, maybe the button combination. Anyway, it's three to do that. Oops. Yeah, don't. Three? Okay. Did I hit three? I don't even remember hitting three. Must be a double way. Is there a double way? Uh, constructing 
uh, crude portal from the leftover parts scattered around was not easy, but now Moth has arrived inside the cell where Laura is being held captive. Moth must break her I just out. did it again. What did I do? Let me look in the instructions and jump ahead. So maybe there's two ways to drop. How did I do nice. it? That's weird. Double hitting. Go. Jump. Move Moth. Or Y button. There's no Y button. And on this joystick, there's no Y button. Well, it's weird. maybe there's a combination of buttons that do it. Just have to watch when you do it next time. See what uh, see what you do. Ah. Double jump, dash. There you go. Oh, I Ooh. dashed. I hit both of these at the same time. Try it. A and C. A and B. B and C. Don't dash off the edge. Down and B, down and A, down and A and C. Something. Some combo. That's so weird. This is why I button mash. Yeah, um, it's bad. Bad button masher. Now well, it's three. Cyrano, do you know if there's a combination of buttons that either do three or the Y button on a three button Jag joystick? This is why we don't use third-party sticks. Ah. <laughs> that's that's his excuse. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, let me tell you this: I played through most of this game and never was able to do that. So, if you want your game tested, you dashed right into the I enemy. I don't. That's fine. If you want your game tested, give it to Tanya. She will find all the yammos on the moon. Uh, all the yammos. <laughs> I will get yammo on that moon, yes. whether yammo wants to be there or not. So Tanya has found a key combination. <laughs> I'm not sure. That emulates sure. <laughs> Y or a three. Seven, eight, nine, or Z, Y, X. Well, that's definitely not what she pressed. She's only no. pressing A, B, and C, and up, down, left, right. That is it. Oh, this is Double Down's joystick, isn't it? your fault. <laughs> You're partly to blame. And Cyrano's partly to blame. And Tanya's partly Oh, to I blame. did it again! Oh, what did you do? Was it all three at once? Try it. No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh my god, this is infuriating. How did I do it? It was like... It's probably left and right as well. What were you doing? Trying to go left? Trying to go right? So if you can figure it out, that's actually helpful. Because three is like over there. Oh well. It was like turning around or something. Weird! <laughs> okay, well, I gotta do that. This is infuriating. I, I will f figure it out. So watch for enemies in the darkness. Don't just jump. No, I know. I, I... Oh, you got two at once. Oh, nice oh, job. Oh, nice. Didn't know it could extend that far. I didn't either. Okay, so this is... I would shoot that guy if you can. Yeah, I should have before. Because, and then jump and dash. Double jump if you can, then dash. Oof, you didn't dash. I did, didn't I? Oh no, I hit the wrong button. Oh, there's one up there. Let I know. That. I know. Uh, Jumping in Shadows is split into ten chapters, each with chapter comprising several levels to complete. Scattered throughout the levels are fusion orbs, which oh. Tanya is trying to get. There, there we go. Goes. Uh, these are required to power up the exit portals. A significant number of fusion orbs are required to unlock the gates for higher chapters, so try not to miss any on your travels. Your next, your time in each chapter is also recorded. Can you do it faster next time? Yay, you did it! Uh, best times in total fusion orbs collected are saved to the cartridge, along with progress of which chapter portals have been unlocked. Good luck! Can't wait to see ZPH edition with <laughs> Fox quotes Tanya. This no, is infuriating. Not the game. Trying to figure out what I'm doing to drop the bomb. <laughs> game's not infuriating. Game's fantastic. Does that special combo only work when you're on a platform oh, you can, where you can drop through? Mm, I don't... No. No, she was on flat ground I, I, during that last yeah. one. How bizarre. She can do it, but she can't replicate it. Oh, gosh. I keep thinking I'm going to... It's a like a it's platform. Dark. Yeah. So top left is the orb counter, one out of four she's got. Um, top right is the key counter. Now be careful, there's spikes on the top of that, so you want to go under it and then jump off immediately. That's 
I'm scared I'm gonna... Oof, Oof. Oh was... my god. Uh, uh, those are required to open locked doors. Fusion orbs, singularities of power, required for portal activation and fun to collect because they're shiny. Search hard, they like to hide it sometimes. Uh, portals. Blue portals transport moth to other levels. Mm -hmm. Magenta portals are found at the end of chapters near gateways. Chapter hubs. Laura and Ernie. They help you on your travels, and they are the reason you're here. Having some friends is sometimes better than having none at all. Oh, there's Ernie. Or Laura. That's Laura. You can also place bombs on the moving platforms to deliver them to their target. Just something to remember. And it is uh, perfect timing. <laughs> that would be kind of hard to figure out, but um, if uh, there is a timing element to it, make sure you can get off too. Nice job. Crates, which she just blew up. Some can be shot, but stronger ones need to be removed with explosives. Either way, they taunt you with their presence. Platforms, how do they move? Nobody knows. But they can help get you to unreachable places and give you time to listen to some good tunes. El electric platforms. These are like normal platforms but with a dash of electric death. Steer clears of these malfunctioning death contraptions. C plus up is bomb. C plus up is bomb. As is eight, Y, and three. C and up. Ooh, that's so good. <gasps> that's so much better. That's how I did it. Oh, that's easier than three. I was three. like, I knew I was doing something. Thank you, Cyrano. Stand up. Okay, you got to get these as you go down. So kind of stay in the middle and go do 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 do. But dash only, you can do it once in a while. See, you're glowing. You can only dash when you're glowing. Yeah. And then it takes like a couple seconds. And you just a button and get it. Because they're not too high. Careful. So many spikies. So many spikies. Oh, not far enough. Oh, I gotta jump, then jump, then dash. Jump and dash, I think. Uh, the enemy copters, which we've seen one of. You have never been so fond of. F you have never been fond too fond of ceiling fans, much less a ceiling fan that can fly around the room. That's clearly a step too far. Oh, you can jet dash up. There Ooh, we go. Oh, that's that is isn't very a high. Uh, lasers. Time it right and you'll be fine. Time it wrong and, well, let's just say you prefer keeping your body in one piece. Mechs. Large, armored, and armed. Your size and speed are your advantage, but it's still good to be careful around these things. Oh, Robots. A on. common sight in its this dreary place. Some have shields, some don't. And all of them want you dead. Fire demons. There's a fiery light to be found in the dark, but probably not from a source you would want to shake hands with. These are guys with um, uh, flamethrowers. Cyclops Guardians. Their eye will follow you around. Beware when it looks at you. It's a staring contest you might not win. Oh, there's a whole bunch of enemies. Uh, bouncers. Doing its best to be your mechanical doppelganger. It bounces around while bringing pain and misery to everyone. Sentinels. Always watching and always deadly. Their size can make navigation difficult, but that makes them vulnerable as well. Spider bots, you used to have one as a pet until they tried to kill you in your sleep. Don't name them this time and they don't let them creep on up on you. Spike bombs, a beautiful contraption of volatile explosives. Sharp, pointy, and pretty fun, pretty to look at, but it's best to keep your distance when they go off. Dash up. That's what I was trying to do. Uh, shiny. Star killers. Whoever designed these wasn't thinking of the furniture. They are angry, fast, spiky, and not good at parties. Wall launchers. Your basic missile base defense system. Oh, how you wish you could get one of these and a mech to shake hands one day. Further intel is not available. Collect it as you go. Very nice. How many bites is the death counter? Ah! <laughs> Is there a death counter? There isn't. You just keep dying. There usually is a death counter. Oh. Does this release work on big PMU? PMU? There is no ROM. 
That loading animation really reminds me of the Death Ghost in Hollow Knight. You have to return to, to get your stats back. Inspired? That and the jump dash. Oh, there's so many games with jumping and dashing. Cart only. There is no ROM. Um, platform looked like it had electricity and spikes. Oh, the, the electricity is for extra spiciness. Yeah. <laughs> I always do this. It's like I get it the first time and then jump, I just keep dying, dash. dying, dying. Yeah, but you have to you have to go to the right that or is, you don't. That is a hard jump, by the way. Like, you can't just do that. You actually have to arc it. Arc, jump, jump. Yeah. yeah. Believe me when I say that is probably one of the hardest jumps in the whole game. It's ridiculous. That one, right and there. And yet I did it right the first time. Oh, and yeah. And that's exactly the last time I played, too. Beginner's luck is strong with this oh, jump. God. Oh, my God. It's so funny, though. I just jumped straight up and dashed. No cart? Oh, boy. I don't even have a Jaguar emulator. This might make, get me make me get a physical console this this game is a console seller yes this one is this is so so good okay i'm gonna take over in a second you get two more tries there we go see she just needed a bit of encouragement <laughs> yep up and see isn't that better it's so much better mm -hmm. than three you just have to remember it yeah. That's actually super handy for um, further games to have different button configurations without having to go into a menu. Oh, these white sleepies. I know. Uh, Serena said, see, <sighs> easy forgotten. jump. It's a platform dash. down there. Oh, deadly. Oh, right at the end. Okay, my turn. I died last time right there. Oh. See? Easy jump. <laughs> Easy jump. Throw me into the thick of it now. Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh, I love this joystick. Hi, you haven't had any treats yet. Well, you have a treat. So ball. dark. You had a treat ball. I can't see anything. Oh, dark levels. Hi. James's favorite. He loves the dark levels. Good. Thank you for turning on the lights. Ooh, right. I think you land on his head? No. Did you land on his head? No. I, think I, I didn't quite land head. on his head. You shoot his head, do you? Maybe I should talk to this person. Guard up ahead is wearing a heavy mech suit. He seems to be invincible, but bullies and bullies people by firing deadly rockets at his weak spot is his head. Bounce on it three mm. times. I just missed it. I knew it was bounce on it. Bounce on him three times, and, and it makes him dizzy. And they have to plant a bomb. You didn't read. There you go. I don't read. I know. <laughs> oh, I like the up and see. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> you like the up and see? Thank you for figuring that out. I didn't. Ooh, what Sadly, it wasn't me. I just... It was you. Uh, no, but... um. Well, you prompted it. Uh, Cyrano figured not, out. Not Cyrano. Um... <laughs> Somebody else? Yeah. End of level. Chapter one. Terrible time. Ooh, missed an orb. Missed an orb. What happens? Have to go back. Not a hundred percent complete. Ivory Tower. I think it was ITC. Oh, figured it out. Yeah, like oh. said. Oh, it's it's C and up. Yeah. Oh, great. I'll leave. I accidentally did that. Anything over here? Nope. Just beautiful designs. Look at those windows. Look at, yeah. The graphics are so good in this game. So, mm. uh, escape from prison. And now the game will start at the hub instead of the prison when it boots. Yeah, okay. So, we that was just... Is this what we just did? Is it? Okay. Yeah, that was what we just did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is he cute? Is He's he very cute. He doesn't like me putting my face right up, right up to him, though. No, he's like... Mm. Hi. 
Very few cats like that. Some are okay with it. They're like, hi, kisses, headbutts. Yeah. This cat's like, mm -mm. He's okay with it. He's not as, uh... Ooh, lightning. Oh, God. He's not as jumpy as other cats. Other cats, you get close to them, they're like, ah, panic. So if you go along a wall and you jump up, you can be killed by the thing that is floating there. Mm. So I thought I was safe there, mm. but I was Like here, if I jumped up, I would die. Oh, because you're too close. I am too close. Yeah. Even though in some games, it's like pixel perfect, like in a 2600 game, where it's like, yeah, it's fine because you're on that exact pixel. What are you doing? Want a necklace? That's what I got. Uh, he is the cat burglar, so he might be trying to get, steal ooh, my necklace. I think I have to go here first, though. Hi. Oops. Oh, is there two paths? Uh, I'm so confused. Nope, stop it. the exit. Is it? Um, well, there's something to the right there, too. Okay, so I, I had to go the yeah, other way first. first. Now, when there's two paths, it's uh, always fun, fun time. Nice. <laughs> Oof. How do you get up there? Oh. You jump around. And then you dash straight up. Yeah. Wait till your light comes back. Oh, seven out of six. That's what you like to see. Hi. Hi. That's a very silly cat. He is. You can. He really likes jewelry. Yeah, that's a problem. <sighs> Careful. Please don't attack my jewelry. So when you get uh, when you get good at the moves, you can kind yeah. of fly all over the place a little bit. You have to get used to the buttons and everything, right? So. Yes. Yeah. Probably run across. Yeah. Just didn't jump yeah. high enough. Time the double jumps. Oh no, I thought that was open. It's too dark. It Somebody is. maybe turn it down. <laughs> <laughs> so the O6 is the number you need to unlock. Yeah. Seven is how many you got. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 You need a minimum number, but there are always a few that There's are hidden bonuses. along the way. Some bonus uh, energies. Oh. Daddy. Can you kill it? No, I think you can, like, um... There you it. go. Some things are a little bit tougher than others. Being silly. Such a cute cat. It's so cute. Ah, the lights are out. Ah, ha, ha. No. Always destroy things when you can. Because you never know when they're going to get in your way later. Exactly. And it doesn't take any time to destroy it. This is the all Oof. platform level. <gasps> oh, oh, no! I touched my head on it. Spiky and electric. See, it's spiky on the top, so it does serve a purpose. The, um, the electric. Because that means you can't touch the bottom of it either. Mm. Back at the beginning? Yep. You die, you go back to the beginning. You have infinite lives. Oh my god. How many levels or stages to beat the game? Cyrano says 35. Yeah, I believe there's 10 wow. levels. Oh my god. 10 areas. So Bottom 10 has hubs. rockets too. Pretty sure your head melts. <laughs> oh, that too. Yeah, you yeah. can see the They're clusters like on it. Violet fire. Sounds very hot to me. Depends what the fuel is. Yeah. It is a, it is associated to the uh, heat, isn't it? Uh, heat. The, the like and the fuel. the radiation being emitted um, from the fire. Yeah. Like blue fire is hotter than. Is it red? 
don't know. I don't know how. Anybody know that? I would think that's true. I think temperature it's is. The but electro, it's, it's well, I, I guess it's just the radiation that emits from it. Oh, this is so hard. The electromagnetic spectrum. <gasps> oh, can you get up there? No. No. I have to go there. Shoot him. Whew, that's tough. Oh, can I? I think I have to do that. Yeah, go up. And then up and see. Too early. Always look above when you can't see all the way up. Yeah. Always jump up a bit because. You... Oh, you don't. Mr. Bouncy. Mm. So I have seven You're out done. of seven. Am I done? I don't know. Can you jump on top of that uh, fan? Uh, no. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but what's? How can I get up there? Oh no! Too late. That's okay. You've passed the level. There's stuff up there. <laughs> it's blue because I, I totally, twiddle with the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> I, like. I like the blue. Yeah. I like the blue. The blue is violet nice. blue. Right. Yeah. You're sharp. You're not electric. Up there. Nope. Oh, oh, something up here. Should I go down? Yes. Key! Our first key. VVG's looking, looking stuff up for me. Uh, from the internet, Ooh, red you. flames usually signal a cooler temperature and often occur in conditions of limited oxygen or when burning certain materials that don't allow for a more efficient combustion. Orange and yellow flames suggest moderate temperatures and, and is common in wood fires where the combustion is less complete. Blue indicates a hotter, more oxygen-rich burn. So that right often there is Often seen where a... the gas mix is optimal, such as in a well-adjusted burner. That's a checkpoint. Ah, right uh, okay, that's good. I just wanted to move on. I thought it was associated to the heat. Oh, that's why they give a checkpoint there. There you go. Whenever there's a checkpoint, something you know bad something bad is coming. Is right after it. Yeah. Thank you, VVG. I, Thank uh, you. That is had very, very a cool. memory of that from something I learned in either physics or. But does it Science matter class. what type of fuel is being used? It, it does, and um, so. I uh, did my um, undergraduate oh, project in chemistry, and it was right? loosely related to fireworks. Okay, I don't remember much about it, unfortunately, mm. but I read this awesome book that was all about the chemical compounds in fireworks and what combinations you use to get different colors. And it was just so interesting, like what, what yeah. metals that you put together um, to get the burn you need to produce the color compounds, and it was really cool. Yeah. That's why we have cool firework displays. God bless them internets, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Where would we be without them? Many uh, people's first BBS's. experience... <laughs> yeah, with Blue Flame was probably Bunsen burner in chemistry class. Too far? No! And I remember that book well. It was like a published book, ah. but it looked like it had been typed and like photocopied oh it was it was like old but it was like published i it gave me the feeling like they would have published like 20 of them in like the 60s do you know what i mean it was one of these books that probably was quite valuable because you wouldn't be able to find them all over the place right. but it was really cool it was really cool reading about all the all the metals it's a dark area so yeah. basic range stoves have a blue flame or is my entire childhood a lie? I'm pretty sure <laughs> gas from like a gas stove is it produces a blue blue front blue flame. So. There's one up there. Oh no, that's BVG my, red flame six hundred to eight hundred, orange flames eleven 1, hundred to twelve hundred, blue flames nineteen fifty to two thousand. It's quite significant. The biggest mistake I make in this game 
is dashing before I'm able to dash. Yeah. Is before my light comes back on. Because you can't dash constantly. I almost died there. I'm trying to dash up, but I didn't press up. So dark! Why, Cyrano? See, I have 14 out of 10. Mm. That's good stuff. Can we go over on that side? <gasps> I can. Should I go down? I don't think so. <laughs> so we'll finish uh, this uh, level and then we will mm. stop there. Oh, this is the last one. Invincible. Oh, do that, but that worked. Cyrano, did you think at all by putting the energy orbs in the um, uh, in the lights, just oh. just to really screw a person up where they can't find like the seventh orb, and it's actually in the light fixture? Oh my god! That would have been hilarious. <laughs> Super mean. Very mean. <laughs> very very mean. How big? How big is the game? Uh, it's it's pretty extensive. Yeah. We're in the second. Oh, good job. We're in the second level, mm. and there's four areas in this level, and there's ten areas or worlds. So I think Cyrano said there's 36. Oh, you have to jump on his head, don't you? Yeah. That would be. Oh end. God. And Andrew designed the levels. Oh, okay. <laughs> it would be kind of mean. Yeah. Or maybe it be. maybe it exists somewhere. Who knows? Yeah, it would be fun. That the nameless hero mean. reminds me a bit of Seamus. Seamus? He doesn't. He's not nameless. He's Moth. His name is Moth. Moth. That was close. You have to jump on his head three times. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, uh, you have to hit it really perfectly. Pretty, though. yeah. You have to be on top of his head. Great music, very, very good music. That's why it has a CD soundtrack to it that accompanies it. Okay, let's not do this. Got to get you. Got to get up there fast. I think. So you have enough space. Okay. Bomb them! Yeah! Bombs away! Okay. Ooh, nice. <gasps> you went down? Or did I it didn't. drop you? I think it was a pass through. Oh, nice. that's a trap. Okay. It was a was trap. A trap. <laughs> that's okay. Bad guy's gone. Yeah, that is the important thing. No, I must have pressed down. Oh, yay! yay. Or there's a checkpoint after a difficult Ooh. part. Are there things in there? In the lights? No. 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 They look similar. But yeah, but they shine downwards. I just think that would be funny. Well, once once one person figures it out, though, it would be quite easy. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Mm. I think you have to go across. I think I do. That's kind of neat. I mean, kind of spiky, kind of mean. Oh! Oh, we have to dash, not jump. Damn it. Well, there was a checkpoint. Relatively, uh... How many lights do you see? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure they're not in the lights? They're not in the lights. <laughs> ah! There's things like this where it's like you can't do one thing that you normally think you could do. Mm. Oh, and you have to kind of rest there for a second before your dash mm -hmm. comes back, which you just used. Ah! Oh, you scared the cat. Sorry, cat. <laughs> Only if you cheat. What is this? There are four lights. I got to 99% of the original Hollow Knight without looking up a single hint about the game. Wow. Still haven't gotten that last 1% and it haunts <laughs> me to this day. And you won't look it up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the timing. You have to dash, yeah. then wait 
just long enough to dash again. But it's, it is enough time. Wait. I don't think I can make it up there. Ooh, lasers. I encountered lasers earlier. Good as me. It's over there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't see anything. I have to do some. Sweet buffet. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I would have gotten that first, but that's okay. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> oh yeah, true. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. But I uh, I go before I think usually in games. <laughs> C70. I assume it beating that arena battle, but I never could do it. Still have the save in the original version of the e EXE one day. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing worse than it's like you're missing one thing. Yeah. Like, it's like one little thing. Where is it? Oh, I think I just have to go up. Uh, oh. Um, Sometimes the platforms are like, where do I go? When we were replaying Impossible Mission, yeah. it brought me back to the fact that I can finish most of the rooms, but I think there are still a couple of rooms that I was never really capable of doing it without um, the lift reset and or the freezing. Oh. Well, that's part of the game. Well, but I just... Um, I don't know. I It feels like you should be able to do all of the, all, every room. But I don't know. I've never looked up if that's true or not. Right. Oh, you wanted to do the whole levels without without using a freeze, a robot freeze. I would look for a speed run of Impossible Mission. Yeah. Uh, but they might use them. Uh, speed run, you can skip. You can skip. Thirty-nine rooms. out of forty-two. No, it's getting worse. <laughs> oh no, you missed three. Yep. So there we go. That is two of the. I'll show you the overworld really quick. Um. And you, you're Don't able forget to... to check the jukebox when you're done Ooh, playing. Yes, yes. You need to check the jukebox. So there's the first one we did. Yeah. There's the there's one we number just two. did. Yeah. And. Is there one? Or... Yeah, there's more. There's many, many more. Of course. There's number three. Tower of Pain! Tower of Pain. Number Woods four. Woods of Despair. Number five, sur suburbs, suburbs of, sadness. of sadness. Oh my goodness! Oliver it... Boulevard of confusion. Nice. I need I need two hundred and forty four to get in that one. Wow. Usually you can only get in like the next one. Yeah. Which makes sense. So that's how many orbs I have, and that's how, how many, many orbs need? you need to get into oh, it. Oh, so. Oops. Strength in the sky. Wow. This is so extensive. We really do have to play this for like a oh. nice nice long after dark one day. Oh yeah. You can you save? Yeah, it's already saved. Oh good, okay. On good. the cartridge. That is excellent. Emergence. Wow. This is really, really uh, extensive. Yeah, beautiful of the uh, world. Ten, the top one. Ten. Sanctum. That makes sense. Hit my head. Bonk. Um, so can we get to the jukebox from here? Or do you have to escape? Do I have to get out of here? You have the... Cyrano? Uh, you have the... I. It doesn't tell it you doesn't say how, how to, to navigate. I think you have to reboot. And then go You're in. Sure? You can look. Oh, thank you. I got Star it. Star pound slash hashtag. Depending <laughs> on your... Hashtag. Hashtag. So, options to change settings, and then you have the, not four, three for the jukebox. Don't erase the EEPROM. No. <laughs> I'll turn this up a little bit for your listening and dancing enjoyment.
That's what we just heard. So oh, each yeah. level has yeah. its own. It does say. Oh, Press good. For title screen, both together. Exit screen. Okay. All the after talks from now until completion. I'll watch them all. Ooh, excellent. Yeah, I have lots of after darks lined up. Oh, I don't know if it's dancing lights or it's just kind of lights. It looks like a visualizer. Cyrano, is it actually a visualizer and goes with this the music? It's cool. Suburbs of Sadness. <laughs> Great names. Yes. Ooh, I like the, I like this one. Nah, it's just plasma globs. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe dance a bit more. The boss. is used in the Jaguar. Same as the 2600. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, that's a good question for Sierra. A 32-bit RISC DSP called yes. Jerry. Digital sound. <laughs> there's a chip called Tom and there's a chip called Jerry in it. Mm. We have to stick with the cat theme. And a little mousy. So when you buy the game, you get all these songs on a CD. And um, I'm guessing it's original, uncompressed versions. Is that correct, Cyrano? Pop in your CD player in your car. No, you probably have to rip them and put them on your phone. <laughs> but still. Yeah. yeah. I had my mouse pointer over the bad cat alert. Of course, Atari didn't do anything while I was ready. Yeah. <laughs> the CD version is full synth, not mod. That's what I thought. Yeah, he's being a good cat right now. But is he? It's good to keep your finger hovered uh, yeah. over it. He <laughs> could turn bad at any second. Yeah, he's thinking about it. And the last one? Not acting yet, but he's thinking. Victory. He's purring. He's purring. Eventually, hopefully, we'll hear this tune as after we're victorious, beating the game. Doing the moth dance. Moth dance. Uh, okay, so that is our little look at Jumping at Shadows. So let's see what's coming up on the show Yay. soon. We have switch over to zero page schedule which is always in flux but generally trustworthy <laughs> <laughs> generally generally trustworthy yeah. it does change from time to time uh oh there's john yeah uh so on friday we're gonna be playing having, having an exclusive world premiere yeah. of two atari 2600 games mm -hmm. batman and invasion wow Possibly a third one as well. Uh, the next scheduled thing is the spotlight on John Hancock. Nice. That's on a Tuesday. That's oh, nice. He's attacking Bernie. But I've rescued cats, him. Cats. <laughs> the cats are on the loose and they must be stopped. <laughs> I've stopped cats. the bad cat. Hi. Oh. I'll have to put Bernie somewhere else. Oh. Yep, he's Thank, still you, Gamma Dev. Thank you, Gamma Dev. Thank you, Gamma Dev. He was yep. sitting there waiting for his opportunity. Yeah, he waiting was for us to be distracted time. enough that he could go after him. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to talk to John Hancock <laughs> about his games, his streaming, do want to eat time. his life, yeah. his possible cats. I don't know if he has cats. Ooh. We'll see if he has cats. 
Good cat. Two Bernies and one Stray. <laughs> yes. No, bad cat. They want treat time. Oh, they haven't had treat time. No, they haven't they? had treats yet. Oh. No, uh, if anyone a, feels like it, now would be the time. Halloween homebrew special where it will be playing at least Spider's Arcade. Because mm -hmm. you've only played it. I played at it PRGE. at P PRGE. That's yeah. the only time I played it. I enjoyed it. I only played like a level or so, but. Uh, we have our costumes. Cool. We have the cat's costumes. We are ready. <laughs> we have to buy a little bit more candy. Yeah. Our favorite candies. We should buy some more. Oh, we have quite candies. a few candies up there. Yeah, just it's that one time. candy. No, yum, two. Yum, two. Yum, oh, okay. yum, I bought more. Yum, oh, good. Yay, Dan! Yay, Dan! And uh, we also have the Falling Leaves Collection, exclusive world premiere for the 7800 on November 1st. Okay, let's get this going. Let's get this show on the road. That's right. Cats, 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 cats. cats, cats, cats. It's time to bet <laughs> on some bad cats. Okay, let me start it up. That's what I need. Yep. Ooh, Cyrano might have a Jag Halloween game. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, you might. That's good timing. Ooh. Let's make it for that. Let's make that. Nice. This was a world premiere of that game. That's a good idea. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm excited. Or I do, do I? I do know do what I it know is. What you it do is? not know what okay. it is. Okay. Okay, start the predictions. Get betting on your cats. It's All time right. for Puss and Bets. Who do we have here? We have the Sid. The Sid. Who's not quite on the screen, cat. but uh, this oh. little black and white kitty. One second. Let me get him on the screen. Let's get him on the screen. Oh, let yeah, me point that up. Oh, yeah, because we did adjust it, didn't we? Yeah. We need more cat. More cat. There we go. There's a there's a gray cat here, Atari, and a black and white cat, Sid. Sid we all is know very good. Sid is very good at this game. Atari pulls it out sometimes, though. Yeah. So don't discount him don't fully. Don't discount him. But you'll it's notice possible. the spread leans heavily towards Sid. So heavily, heavily. Yes. Whoa, leap! Oh that my was a goodness, he was ready. He's like, give me the treats. Give me the treats. I'm ready give for it. Give me now. Give me. So we've got uh, some people betting Sid five already. Wow. Sid five plus. It's Ooh. it's it's a little out there, but not unreasonable. No. Um, Little oh, cat. somebody believes in Atari. Oh today. yes, yeah, we believe in Atari. The today. thing is, it's a long shot, but the payoff is big. Yes. That's the thing. Yeah. If you get, if you throw a little and bit on Atari and it doesn't pan out, that's okay because you only spend a little bit. We had a day where Sid won four, and then Atari won by one. So yeah. it's not it's not out of the question. Nope, it definitely isn't. Oh, we've got yep. all the bets covered now. Excellent. So now you can just uh, throw it on anything you want. Dan says, since I triggered it, not going to say it. It's Puss and Bets time. Yeah. <laughs> um, most of the monies on Sid 3 and 4, I'd say that's the safe bet. That is the but safe bet. But also with a safe bet, yeah. you don't get the big payoff. That's true. That's true. Um, yeah. yeah. You never know, though. But you never you, know. You can never fully predict Ooh, it. That's oh, we've covered the spread. That's yeah. good. The Sid 1 and 2. Ooh, Ooh. That's a, a big... Pot. Oh, somebody yeah. threw some more. And I was like, <laughs> there that's, you go. That's undervalued. Oh, balanced oh, out a little bit more there. That was way yep. undervalued. I mean, I they did. Say. They did get. They did get some uh, catnip. Yes. That can impede performance a little bit. It can. It can go one way or the other. It's really hard to Sid say. Sid was really fast last time. Yeah. Okay. Stop sniffing butts. Yeah. It's time for the ringing of the bells. <laughs> I should ask if Marilyn is watching before I make. Oh, a that's right. Oh, you can look in the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. The list. <laughs> okay, you ready, right. cats? Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? And go! Oh, oh Atari Atari's. takes a lead. And here's Sid. Did you get one too, yep. Sid? Okay. One each. One each. And they're off to the races. Atari's way over by the door, which is not good for him. Sid's having some trouble ringing the bell. Still having trouble. He's soft pawing. Atari's coming back. Still soft pawing. It is. Oh, he's having trouble. It is. No, Sid. come on. There oh, we go. that was Atari. Atari gets another point. Sid is just... Sid is confused. Finally, Sid finally. Finally gets it. He was very confused. He was soft pawing it so much. Atari knows what he's doing. Oh, oh interference. Oh, oh, Atari got Atari's that one. Atari's leading. Now Sid Sid's got that catching one. up. Atari's still in the lead by tiny, tiny bit. Mm. Sid is falling close behind. Pretty even. Oh, they're both at the bell again. It's... It's going to be hard to tell. It's oh, Atari. Oh, Atari again. Dis distinctly Atari. Sid, Sid is what's not... What's up with you, buddy? He's doing it sideways. He's not hitting straight down. There oh, he goes. there's Sid. He's a little confused about how bells work. They go down. He's going to the side, <laughs> yes. trying to 
pull it towards Uh-oh. him. Sid's back. That's not helping him. Sid's back. He's, he's the it's t- hurry. Hit the it's bell. It's a little bit of a slower game Hit today. Hit the bell. They were a little impeded. Oh, oh that, that was Sid. Sid. It's right here. Yeah. Sid. Sid. That was Atari. One each. Check your little silly little cat. There we go. We're tied up at five. It is a slow game. Last game was the fastest I've ever seen. Oh, Sid nope, is. Sid. Oh, Sid has pulled ahead now. And Atari. Atari's close behind. It's still any cat's game. It could be any cat's game. Sid's distracted. He's watching Atari. He's shaking his head. It looks like he's eating some fluff. Yeah. And he's at seven now. And Atari's going to be close Hit behind it. again. Good, Atari. It is tied up. Oh, Sid inhaled that. But now yeah. he's distracted by Atari. Now he's back at the bell. Oh, he soft pot. Oh, he got it. Sid. It is Hit eight it. seven. Hit it. Harder. Harder. There, there we you go. go. Eight eight. Sid is distinctly Sid. in the lead by almost oh, one now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yummy oh, fluff. It's, it's game, game point, point and he's back. Oh, he's back at the bell. Is he going to get it by two? Is, oh, oh. Oh, oh, that was Sid. Who was that? That was Sid. Was it Sid? It was Sid. It is 10 eight. It's over. All right. Here's a couple extra. Good job, Kitty. They both had their paw on it, but Sid wow. is the one that pressed it down with the... That was Wow, close. that was very close. Sid got it in wow. the last few seconds. One to two. So the one to twos have it. Yeah, so it was a safe bet this time. So Sid won by two whiskers, but it was close. And Sid got it right in the end. Let's see who the big winners are. ABD official. Yay. Gets the top spot plus two other people. I cannot tell who they are. Uh, so congratulations by two shishkers. <laughs> Darn it. I had a chance. Good try. <laughs> so it was Sid. Do I have a bell? Yeah. There we go. Sid wins. I should do Sid by two bells. Let's do it. <laughs> Sid by two bells. Ding, ding. <laughs> I don't know why I never thought of that before. That is cute. That is very cute. Aww. Um, so congratulations, yes. Sid, on your win. ABD official and two others, excellent. Is there anything you have to say to your adoring fans? It says that's a knife. I can't eat I can't, <laughs> I can't eat, that. eat that knife. He's like, put Bernie in front of my face. <laughs> Took a chance in five plus. Ooh. Oh. That is risky. But I wouldn't put too much on that if it was five plus, yeah. Sid so looked like he was trying to let Atari win, but after a pathetic soft touch, decided, okay, okay you, you deserve to lose. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. he did. He was like, uh, I'm going to give you a chance, old cat. <laughs> but, uh, or he if, was just a little goofy. It, he rolled around in all his catnip, then he rolled around in all of uh, Atari's catnip. Erlen so. must have t- a glanced at the stream. He said, no, Erlen's not there. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I might do an After Dark of Tutankham Arc. Mm-hmm. Arcade. Okay. Um, I played that a little bit while um, John was on the stream, but I did not play it enough. It's a fun game, and yeah. I want to put in some more time on that. Okay. Get a little bit better. Um, so might do that tomorrow. Might do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll see. We'll see. I'll throw it in there somewhere. Mm-hmm. I think Tutankham Arcade is my next After Dark. Nice. Um, but I do want to play Tony at some point with you because yeah. it has maps on Indie Navigation. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I want to go back and play that again. That was pretty fun. Yeah. yeah. And um, then Jumping at Shadows, I want to throw in there too. I'm okay. going to start building up my After Dark yep. list. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm, I want to play After Dark. What is the top one on the list that I want to play right okay. now? And that's what I'm just going to throw it in. Yeah. And those will mostly be unscheduled unless we have like, oh, we have a certain time. Probably when you are going to be on After Dark. Hmm. That's when I'll schedule it. Okay. Because we'll know because you'll be home. Yes. Right? Yeah. 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 Fair enough. Well, thank you, Cyrano, uh, for making those amazing games. They are awesome. Um, Jumping at Shadows, everything brilliant. about it. So, so brilliant. Yeah. It's such a great platformer. Yeah. It's at that level where it's like, you can do it. Mm-hmm. You know you can do it. And anything you do yes. wrong is definitely your, it's your fault. It's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> it's not yes. the controls. The controls are so, so balanced nicely. Like, mm. the jumping is smooth. The double jumping's great. The dashing's great. Um, the movement around the screen feels just right. Not too slow. Not too fast. And, um, and Magic Pockets, very cute. Very fun. It's, it's a very challenging game. Mm. Um, 
you have to be pretty cautious, but we did okay. Well, but because we weren't dying. Well, let's say, let's just look at the first, <laughs> the first level. No, I think, I think I wasn't dying on that no, either. We didn't make it to a continue. So we didn't, uh, didn't die. Really? We had to stop the game. No, but I think the cheats were on for all of that. Not the first, le really? not the first part. Yeah. Really? You were dying. The, the, the hands were going down. Oh, Remember? okay. But we were yes, just getting enough, true. uh, extra life that okay. we were building it back up. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty be... fun. I want to play more of that one too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We might put that more till time. there's updates to it or yeah, 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 yeah. when it comes out That'd or be when, fun. when it's, uh, yeah, when it's on demo or something. So Cyrano says, uh, Jumping Cat Shadows will be in the Atari Age Star very Excellent. soon. I would put that a definite must buy if you're a Jag owner. And if you're not a Jag owner, it might mm. convince you to actually buy a Jaguar. It's that good. It's really good. It has tons of gameplay. Um, and as you can see, we missed some of those hidden, um, orbs. They're like, there we somewhere. We didn't They're get hiding in them. a wall or behind something. So or there's something I didn't explode. There's more challenge <laughs> yes. to do. Yeah, because you want to get as many as possible. Yep. And yep. there's also speed run challenges yeah. as well. Oh, yes. Because it keeps your time. So you can go mm. back and get a better time. I love that. As well. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us on a Wednesday night, RC70. Thank you, Cyrano, for being in the chat, answering people's questions, and for making these games. Uh, Dan, if you see nostalgic, uh, could more After Darks mean exploring some homebrews for other consoles or, or RPGs? RPGs. That's, Penalt! That's kind of why I did it. Yeah. Because every time I look at Penalt, I think, oh, I'm going to have to flood the main channel <laughs> with just yeah. hundreds of hours of gameplay. Yeah, that's true. And that's, and I really didn't want to do that yeah. because I know people be like, oh my God, what is this channel I'm subscribed yeah. to? <laughs> it's penalt for the last 10 streams, yeah. uh, which is not a bad thing, but some people be like, ah, it's too much. I, I got to unsubscribe, right? Mm. So people who are subscribing to After Dark will be like, I know what I'm in for. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be long plays of games. Yeah uh nostalgic vitoko double down abd congratulations on winning yeah uh gamma dev uh, rc7e prow seven uh that's polygox flew by pass there yeah uh, da, 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 da. Oh, there's polygox again i saw uh, itc in there itc uh i think you mentioned pvpg okay. cafe man yep oh. Good eye. Hopped in for a little bit too. Toko, mm. and that's the top of the chat. Yay! Thank so, you. So, uh, good night, everybody, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see you one. at the latest on Friday, Friday for an early show with Erlen. Yes. If he's still able to make it, I hope so, so I will confirm 100. percent And if not, we're doing a late show. Okay. On Friday. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, have a great week and stay safe and we will be back uh on the next show on yeah. friday bye everyone bye, bye, -bye.